Welcome to the Community Guru Podcast. My name is Vidal, and today we have a special guest, Mindframe Gaming. Welcome to the podcast. What's going on, family? What's up? What's up? All right, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, when did you first start, like, your career, what you do? Oh, man. Whew. That's a question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. When did I first start? All right. Um, if I have to go all the way back in time travel, uh, I'd have to say, uh, what year was this? It, it was it was many moons ago, man. It was when NBA Live 07 came out. Oh, wow. And, um, yeah, it was a long time ago. And at the time, it was um, like Live 06 was like my game. And then Live 07 came out, and they actually had a – a reality TV show coming out on ESPN at the time. It was called uh, NBA Live Bring It Home. Ooh. And they were looking for the best ballers around the world in live to compete for $100,000. So at the time, I was just like, you know, in my area, the best. Uh, I would always play against like friends from high school and then friends in my area, and I would just destroy them. So when it came time to try and get onto the show, they wanted the demo tape, so I just sent them a tape of me destroying my friends. And then, go figure, I live in New York City. So, like, it was like, oh, you can come down to our studios in New York City. I said, oh, word? <laughs> went right into the city, went down. I, I'll never forget it, because I walked there with one of my homeboys at the time and his little brother, and um, it was a group of dudes there. And as soon as I walked in, they started laughing. Like, what, this guy? Like, he's going to beat me? The thing was, I had to beat the top guy in New York to take his spot on the show. Yeah. So at halftime, I was whooping him. It was like 40 to like 7 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Walked out, got onto the show. Um, long story short, short that, was, um, that was like the starting point when I knew like, okay, I can really do something with this. Like gaming is really something for me. So um, yeah, like right around then, that's when it really started for me. And then it just kind of continued to take off, winning tournaments. Um, getting involved in the community and then finally starting my YouTube channel a couple of years ago and really trying to get serious with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. Uh, when did Vibe City really start and how did you come up with that name? Oh, uh, Vibe City started when I started my YouTube channel. I remember at the time I was in college, I was going to uh, John Jay College for Criminal Justice, majoring in forensic psychology. And I remember every day I would go to class, I would just be sitting there and in my head, I just kept saying my intro on YouTube, like, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Mind Frame. I just kept saying that over and over again. And for some reason, like, you know, I always used to say Vibe City. And, and when I thought about that, I just thought about peace, love and gaming and just like positive vibes. Yeah. So that's automatically what came to my mind. So like that's when it originally started like that moment like in college sitting in, in my classes bored out my mind just thinking i could do so much more at this yeah. very moment right now and i wanted to take a chance on myself like i could always go back to college that was my thing like my degree is always there yeah, but i said you know what let me just try and do this let me let me do this yeah I, really, and, um, I see what you mean on that yeah, I just had to take a shot, man. I had to take a chance, and yeah. I'm glad I bet on myself because it ended up, you know, working out pretty well for me. But yeah, that's that's when Bob City actually started. That exact moment, sitting yeah. in class, and then that's what Bob City's all about: peace, love, gaming, positive vibes. That's that's really cool. Um, what does winning Game Changer of the Year mean to you? Oh, that means a lot, man. That means a lot. That's um. Man, I remember when I when I when I stepped on the stage, man, it's just like so much emotion ran through me because I've been doing this for a long time. Like I've been a long like a, a lifelong fan of live, like for so, so long. Mm -hmm. Playing in high school against friends, you know, playing with uh family and then being on um ESPN for live and you know, just moving forward with the brand and just trying to do so much with them. Um when I first started YouTube I was uh <laughs> it was crazy because I started off with Battlefield four and then um it was live fourteen. And um, I would just talk about problems with the game because at the time, nobody was doing that. The only person I knew about that was like really talking about live was uh, Prime. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I, I want to do something a little bit different. Um, and I just started to make my videos. And 
the whole thing was to reach out to developers to get their attention because at the time I, I didn't have you know a voice I felt like I didn't have a voice so I figured YouTube would give me a voice to you know get my opinions out there and eventually that's exactly what happened so it's always been a thing where I wanted to get involved with the live somehow some way help out any way I can and ideally be like the voice of the voiceless because I know how that feels to to have that feeling of I'm not being heard and people have that feeling a lot in the community so that's why I'm always all ears uh, when it comes to it but um but just being game changer of the year man it's just like I feel like it was recognition after like hard work I've done for years and um just finally like knowing myself that I can do this and I'm like meant for this kind of thing mm. yeah I feel you uh one so i've heard i've seen you tease this all over twitter and stuff uh when's that merch dropping and <laughs> <laughs> when did you de first decide to like start making stuff for your fans stuff like that oh um well i, I just got back into twitch so i have my uh my merch on uh my stream labs but um mm -hmm. but yeah man it's um when i dropped the logo for the first time there's so much meaning behind my logo um like if you take a look at it, it got the buildings. The buildings represent Vibe City, Vibe City, peace, love, and gaming, and that's also the community as a whole, Vibe City. Mm -hmm. um, the sun in the in the image actually represents rise and grind. I start every day saying rise and grind. Yeah. So that's where the sun comes from there. And then the MF just stands for mind frame, and then the colors pop, and you know, it just has a nostalgic kind of vibe to it. So dope. But, um, yeah. What, yeah. <laughs> but when that, when that came out, man, I had so many people DM me like, yo, man, like, are you going to start to drop merch? Like, are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? Yeah. So I started to sneak in a couple of things. Like when I did these events with, um, with EA, I would wear my own, like my hat with yeah. my, uh, my hoodie and a shirt and, uh, people would always dig it. Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna start pushing a little bit more on my, uh, my YouTube channel pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, yeah man, yeah, people want to copy, they can copy, they can check it out. Yeah. Yeah. They, I'm looking forward to some too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are your thoughts on NBA Live 19 after you've got some chances to play it and really spend time with it? Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, I, I've been playing it for um, you know, last couple of months and uh, just giving input with it. Um, but I'm glad that the game is out so a broader audience can check it out because I can see but so much. Um, other game changers can see but so much. But with me, um, I like the direction they're going in. I feel like they still have work to do, and I think us as a community, we know they still have work to do, but we know it takes time. Yeah. You know, like, nothing is going to happen overnight. So, like, with me, it's more like patience, and as long as we see the devs and, and the team in general making some kind of progress every day, mm -hmm. that counts. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the big thing for me, because in the past, before, you'd see devs just go silent, ghosts. Like, yo, this is broke, this is broke, what's up with this? Nothing, mm -hmm. you know? And, and most recently, the biggest thing that they fixed at the moment was uh, contested shots. So they yeah. just put out a patch for that. Awesome. And, uh, you know, people are leveling. I haven't seen anything negative about that. They're like, yo, defense feels a little bit better now, you know? To me, again, they still have things they need to do, but it's incremental steps towards the bigger goal, which is, you know, having a credible basketball game that everybody can enjoy from every niche. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man, it's, it's fun. I like it. I play it. Um, I haven't played the new patch yet because I've been working on other content. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just wait. I'm literally waiting for my crew to get on so we could just start running through it. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, it's so much fun, man. I just I love what the state of the game currently. Yes, yes, really fun game. Uh, for you like uh, another basketball game. Uh, what are your thoughts on 2K19, NBA 2K19? I like it too, man. I yeah. like it too. I, like I said, uh, you know, 2K is one of the games that I play as well. Um, I've been working on a couple of builds over there, um, getting ready for, you know, just to come back on YouTube with that. Cause I took like, I think maybe uh, about a week and a half off from YouTube, just getting everything together mm -hmm. content wise. Cause there's so many games out right now, Spider-Man, 2K yeah. Live, Tomb Raider. And then there's more, you know, Red Dead's coming out later this year. Battlefield's around the corner, yes, NHL, yeah. Madden, FIFA. Yo, I, like, I, the thing is being a game changer, bro, it's so much content. And so many things you can do, it's like, oh, my God, what do I do next? What do I do? You know, of course, yeah. you know, focus on live, but there's so many other games I like. So yeah. sometimes I have to sit back and relax and just enjoy the moment. Like, okay, I can play these games. I can enjoy gaming right yeah. now as a whole. Can you, can you talk um, about that a little more, yeah. too? Because uh, people really don't understand sometimes, like, how overwhelming it can get with all the content and games. And can you, like, talk about maybe, like, what the importance is of, like, taking breaks and stuff? 
because sometimes oh, yeah. it is a lot to oh, put yeah. all the content. Yeah, it's um, you know, being a content creator, um, you know, it's it's you don't ideally want to box yourself in with one title. Mm-hmm. Like I knew with me, um, I didn't want to just play 2K. I didn't want to just play live. I wanted to play both games because I I love basketball as a whole. Yeah. Um, but you don't want to burn yourself out when it comes to the grind with YouTube. Like it's very rewarding. Like you can burn yourself out; it's gonna be very rewarding. But at the same time. I feel like it's not worth it. Like you have to rest your mind at times. You have to kick back, relax sometimes, ideally take a vacation to some extent, mm-hmm. recuperate and just get back to it. You know, every, I feel like every content creator deserves some kind of break. If they're going hard 24 seven, like some brothers and sisters I know, take mm-hmm. a break. Even if it's a day, even if it's a couple of hours, relax and then think about your next plan of attack. But all content creators need to take some kind of break, man. Like me, I, I take breaks. I, before I took a break, that was like a month, two months, three months. Yeah. And it just came back booming. You know, like your community will be there. Like if they're loyal to you, if they really like rock with you and vibe with you, yeah. they're going to be there. You know, yeah. and the views are going to be there too. And I notice how my channel works and I come out with this kind of video, that kind of video, what kind of views I'm going to get. Um, so it's going to be there. You know, just please <laughs> take that break. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we spoke about. Uh... Uh, YouTube and stuff and you talked about how you just opened your Twitch what are your like mingles on Twitch on that platform oh that's easy that's easy so um, I was actually talking to um, a couple of my community members uh, my close homies about this Um, so YouTube I primarily play basketball games that's Mm -hmm. that's the niche on YouTube on Twitch I don't know I I feel this sense of I don't want to say freedom but I could just do anything over there yeah. Like, I can bump up a stream. I can play some 90s music. Mm-hmm. I can rock out on, like, a hack and slash game, a FPS. I'm really good at FPS shooters and hack and slashes. Yeah. I can rock on those, like a Battlefield. Uh, a Devil May Cry is going to be coming, I think, next year. Mm-hmm. Um, I can rock on a, a, a story mode, a MMO, Destiny, something else. Um, and just kick back, relax, and interact with everybody. I don't really get, like, uh, opportunities to interact with everybody on the spot that's why i love twitch because i can boot up a stream everybody comes in hey what's up i'm like oh what's up what's up what's up what's up you know go yeah. through it how's your day going and just interact live right then in the moment and i love that feeling like it's cool going through the comment section too mm-hmm. but there's something to just something about just being live and having people come in like at that moment it's kind of like your favorite tv show coming on you got to tune in to check it out real quick you know maybe yeah. it's live or something so that's the feeling I get from Twitch. But my goals over there is to just vibe, man. Same thing I did on, on YouTube, but this time just do whatever. Like, I literally, I booted up a stream earlier today. I played mm-hmm. 2K. I hopped up. I played Devil May Cry because yeah. I was hyped for DMC5. Um, but, yeah, man, just over there just chilling. That's really it. Yeah. So with that being said, would you prefer Twitch or YouTube? Mm. That's a hard one because yeah. I have – friends that are in both niches and mm-hmm. they both have different things to say about it yeah. with me though i feel like when it comes to content with my youtube videos i take a lot of time to make my youtube videos yeah a video that might be three minutes a tutorial or something like that mm-hmm. might take me like five hours because i want to perfect it and i want to do this and i go back and record i go back yeah. my voice might not be right and my visual might be off or i didn't get the right footage so i got to get some people on to get the footage so like with Twitch, that same five hours, I could literally just stream for that five hours mm-hmm. and just chill and, you know, rack up viewers and, and have fun right there. And then just end the stream and, and, you know, maybe do something else. But um, I feel like for me personally, YouTube is very time consuming. Mm-hmm. Um, Twitch, it to me, it doesn't seem that time consuming. Like I could just boot it up, go with it. That's it. YouTube, yeah. I do a lot of overthinking because I... I take pride in my craft, my visuals. I just had my visuals done by my graphic designer, Ella Sebrum, and he has more stuff coming for me too. But uh, but yeah, man, it's 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 up in the air for me, man. I'm still gonna do YouTube regardless, but I mm-hmm. really want to get into Twitch. It's so much fun. Yeah. Uh, what motivates you to succeed and like become successful? Being different. Uh, Easy. Yeah. There's there's so many. So many content, and I don't want to bash anybody at all, but mm-hmm. when I look at content creators, um, nine times out of ten, for the majority part of them, 
and I'll say in the 2K community, um, it's the same kind of vibe. Yeah. A lot of negativity at times. And there's a lot of negativity in gaming at times, too. That's why with Vibe City, I preach peace, love, and gaming. Because yeah. we're not about that. You know, it's all about if you're new to the community, we welcome you in like you're a brother or a sister, you know? Mm -hmm. And we just have fun. You know, it's no slander, no negative vibes, no negative language, none of that, no hateful talk. I just want to build a community that, and I've actually had this before. It's one of my, my prior goals. I had a father dm me before saying hey me and my son we love to watch your channel i don't really like to have him watch anybody else because they curse too much they say this they say that yeah. but you keep your your videos very informative and positive so that's something that i look forward to just growing in general and i want to bring that also over to twitch you know yeah that, that's that's really cool uh that that story was really cool about the father that dm'd you yeah. Uh, what uh, for the last question? Uh, what can we look to seeing from you in the near future, like content-wise or anything like that? Mm. I got some things coming. Yeah. I uh, I I can neither. <laughs> My friends are gonna hear this. They're gonna know what I'm talking about. I can neither confirm nor deny. Uh, a couple things coming up, but uh, okay. But just say uh, a lot of a lot of dope opportunities. Um, of course, positive vibes. Mm -hmm. um, again, I'm getting back into YouTube after my you know week long break, week and a half break. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be pretty dope. You know, of course, you know going back and forth between live and 2K, and then in general, just on Twitch, whatever comes out that's hot that I'm vibing with, I'm going to play. Yeah. Um, so just in general, man, just a laid back brother game into some lo-fi hip hop, some 90s hip hop, early 2000s. And just having a smile, man. That's 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 really it, man. Yeah, that's good. Uh, thank you guys for listening to the Community Guru Podcast. Uh, this is Mind Frame Gaming. Uh, I'd like to thank him for being on the podcast. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. See ya. Peace. Yeah. Uh, that was a really dope podcast. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, yo, man. Thank you, brother. I, I yeah. appreciate you, man. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, anytime, anytime. Continue to do yeah, great you things. Doing, I'm trying, man. You're doing your thing, too, man. I, thank you. I, I see you. I, you. Please believe I see you, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. See you, bro. You be definitely, man. One love, brother. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.